Seeing, yeah, uh, check it, yeah. Look, heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavy. I start my mornings with morning glory because you can't start in negative. Be careful what you feed yourself every morning. You can't wake up to that negative shit because a lot of times that's all I see. We got to wake up and feed ourselves that positive energy. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most high done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it looked like out here, man. You know, it's cold. It's freezing, it's snowy, it's icy, but either way we winning, man. Understand, either way we winning, man. Look at that skyline, look at the sun back there, man. You know, so understand that you've been tapped this morning to get out there and do something great with your life. Take another step with your life. Level up with your life, you know what I'm saying? You out here, you listen, you woke up to do something, so make sure that you doing it. But before you do, I want you to understand, bro, that Listen, where your mind goes, the body will follow. Where your mind goes, the body will follow. So when you tell yourself that you can do something, you're actually going to do it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take the steps to do it. You're going to position yourself to do it because your mind said so. So when your mind say something, then everything with your actions and your vibration going to get ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of y'all don't even think about this, but even when you getting ready to go work out, bro, your mind is already getting mentally prepared for that. But since your mind is getting prepared for that, your body is also getting prepared for that. Your muscles, your vibration, your energy, everything about you is getting revved up to get this workout in. You know, a lot of y'all be like, one, like, man, like how, you know, some people on the outside looking in be wondering how you do it, you know? You know, but you just got to do it. You got to tell yourself that, listen, I'm about to go get this workout in. You got to tell yourself that I'm going to do better. You got to tell yourself that I'm going to level up. I'm going to make money today. You know what I mean? I'm going to have a good attitude today. I'm going to be positive today. I'm going to be productive today. I'm going to win today. And when you're telling yourself this, understand that you are going to make it happen because everything about your aura is going to position you to do that. All you got to do is take the steps and go through your motions, go through your progressions like I always tell you. So make sure that you saying positive things and putting it out there in the universe, bro. A lot of people don't, they don't understand or believe that you manifest the things that you think and that you say, but it's real. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've done this myself. To where I've said things and guess what? It came into fruition, whether it was good or bad. That's what you got to uh, realize, bro, whether it was good or bad, whether it was positive or negative. When I said it and put it out there, bro, listen, a lot of that shit happened. So you got to be careful as well what you put putting out there, what you spewing out. You know what I mean? What you saying, what you thinking. I know some thoughts you can't control. But listen, bro, if you want to stay stuck on those thoughts because your mind is just a bunch of a bunch of thoughts and things just going by. It's like a film that's spinning. You know what I mean? And then it's on to the next scene, on to the next picture. But if you hit the pause button on some bullshit, and guess what, bro? That's going to stay stuck in your mind. You know, if you just going to think about sex, that's going to stay stuck in your mind. You thinking about pornography, that's going to stay stuck in your mind instead of moving past that shit. You can't be hitting pause on bullshit. If anything, hit the pause on the positive until you get it done and get on to the next thing, the next positive thought, the next mission the next the next level up all of that shit bro but don't just stay stuck on some bullshit or, or, or find yourself spewing out nonsense and negativity because guess what bro you put that out in the universe if you tell yourself that you can't do something you ain't gonna do it you tell yourself you're gonna have a bad day you're gonna have a bad day you tell yourself that you're not feeling good you sick you're gonna be feeling sick as a bitch you know what I'm saying? So understand that, man. Tell yourself that you're going to be okay. Tell yourself you're going to get through it. I know we, you know, you know, we're going to be living. We're going to go through things. We're going to feel a certain way. But guess what? When you stay positive in that, bro, that shit go by just like that. 
you be like, damn, I was sick. Damn, I was. I did have an attitude. I wasn't feeling too good. I was having a, 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 a bad day, but I didn't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, a lot of times, bro, motherfuckers just don't need to speak on certain things. Certain shit, you just got to just man the fuck up and just go through it. Stay positive. You know, a lot of motherfuckers be jealous of people like that too, bro, because, you know, because they going through shit and, you know, they panicking, they in panic mode and shit, you know, they stuck in their feelings, they stuck in their emotions and, and it's clearly showing on them, bro. Listen, when they look at you, bro, and they know that you probably going through some shit, they probably know something that didn't happen to you or whatever, bro, and they look at you still just, you know, moving forward. You know, even though you probably feel some type of way in the inside, even though you having a million thoughts in your mind, but you still able to move forward and push past that. A lot of people can't do that. That's what you got to understand. A lot of people can't do that. So you got people that, 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 that don't like you, that try to trigger you, that wish that you will feel bad, that want to see you feeling down. And then when they can't see that and they see you push forward, you know, through whatever happened or the bullshit that you're going through, bro, they hate it. They hate it. They hate that you are able to recover and get through things and stay positive because nine times out of 10, they can't do it. You know what I mean? A lot of people around just be negative for no reason. You know, they want to feel bad. They want to be stuck in their feelings. They want to be emotional. They want to be mad. They want to lash out. They don't want to get over it because if they wanted to get over it, they would be taking the steps to get over it, they, to get through that shit. But no, they want to dwell on it. They want to keep talking about it. They want to hit the pause button and keep letting it, you know, rewind back in their mind of what's happening and shit. But then wondering why they can't be productive, why they can't get to the next level of their life, why they can't never start nothing, why they can't never complete nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's why they, they wonder why they can't because they stuck. They keep hitting that pause and reverse button in their mind and keep replaying the negativity and the bullshit. And guess what? It's not getting them through nothing. It's not getting them past nothing. You know what I'm saying? And they not learning. You know what I'm saying? They not learning, bro. Because the first start, when well, you first start learning as you get through that shit, and then maybe you will have thoughts of it, and then you think about what you could have done better, but you still moving forward with it. You turning that loss into a lesson. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to do. But either way, you got to move forward and you got to stay positive, bro. And tell yourself positive things and tell yourself that, hey, I could do whatever it is that you want to do. Because if you want to be negative about this bitch, listen, bro, it ain't nothing but negative energy that's out there. You know what I'm saying? But it's tons of positive energy out there as well. So connect with that. You know what I mean? If we just stay stuck on all of the bullshit that's happening in this world, then guess what? We're going to allow that negative energy to pull us down too. We're going to allow that shit to keep us in the low vibration. Now we're not on our purpose. Now we're not focused on the good things that's going on with us in our life. That's why we can't do that, bro. We got a lot of good things that's going on with us and... You know, a lot of times we let some of the shit that's going on around us take our mind off of that. You know what I'm saying? And we can't do that. We got to we gotta really do just stay positive and think about the good things that's happening regardless of what's going on in our life that may be not so good. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter, bro. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter, bro. As long as you keep moving forward and you stay positive about these situations, before you know it, you go, it's gonna be, you, you're going to get through it. You know what I mean? It's going to be something that just came and gone. You know, maybe you won't forget about it. Hell, you shouldn't. It is what it is. But you ain't going to dwell on it. You ain't going to just keep thinking about it. You ain't going to just be stuck in that place that you was in when it happened. Nah, get out of that shit. Because if you stay in that, bro, listen, you stand, you stagnant in that motherfucker. You know what I mean? You not growing in that motherfucker. You mad in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You upset in that motherfucker. You emotional. You ain't even masculine in that motherfucker over there. Because you want to stay stuck in that, in that zone. You want to stay stuck in that mentality, bro. Learn how to snap out of shit, get through shit, and get over shit so you can get to the things that really mean shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do out here, bro. And that's the key. That's the key. A lot of people don't want to tell you that because they want you stuck in that same mindset that they are. You know what I mean? But you can't do that. 
You can't do that shit when you got places to go. You got places to be. You got things out here to get. Things out here to, man, listen. Things out here to see. You got motherfucker. You got shit. You got work to do. You got a destination to get to. You got goals to, to, to knock down. You know what I mean? You got dreams to accomplish. And when you got that, bro, listen, dog, you ain't got time for the bullshit. Ain't no way you gonna get to the level that you trying to get to being a negative motherfucker that's always dwelling on the past, always reliving trauma, always want to just be stuck in that that mindset of, 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 of I can't do something. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I can't, I don't even want it around me, bro. Y'all know I was gonna get to that. I don't, and listen, bro, you really do gotta be careful of the shit of the motherfucker fuckers that come around and what you listening to because some of y'all could have some friends that be stuck on that same bullshit bro and they'd be like yo and you sitting there listening to that shit you sitting there listening to it bro i don't know how many motivational talks speeches words of wisdom you that probably gave motherfuckers around you and they still can't get through things they still want to stay stuck on things bro and i'm telling you that because they want to be there you know what I'm saying? They comfortable in that low vibration. Sometimes you got to leave people in that motherfucker until they learn. You can't always be the one that got to be trying to motivate a motherfucker. It's hard enough to motivate our damn self. You know what I'm saying? That be like a struggle every day. Every day you got to get up and motivate yourself. That's because you got places to go. You got things to do. And you don't want to be stuck in there because you know that, listen, it's more to life than that. And when you realize that it's more to life than that, bro, you just ain't got time for that. It's like, nah, nah, I need this energy. I need this positivity. I need the most high with me. I need people around me that's going to motivate me. I don't need none of this shit that's just going to pull me down and hold me back. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be damned if I do that to myself. So don't do that to yourself. Stay positive. Understand that you could get through anything. You could do anything through the most high God. And you're going to accomplish whatever it is you want to do in life. If it's meant for you, then it's for you. Whatever is for you, can't nobody stop, bro. Can't nobody get in the way of that but you. Understand that anything that you don't do that you wanted to do, listen, bro, it either just wasn't for you, wasn't meant to be, or you stood in your own fucking way. So get out your way. Sometimes you just got to get out your way. Get out your own way. Get off the bullshit and get out your own way. Get out of your mind. You know what I mean? Only put positive things in it. And if it's bullshit, push that shit off to the side. You know what I mean? Because we already, we already deal with enough shit that be trying to pop up in there, bro. You got to find ways to get rid of it. Because your mind can become a dumpster. And you don't want bullshit up in there. You want positive things in there. Don't let your mind be a dumpster. You know what I'm saying? Let that shit be a hard drive for positive things. Let that be a hard drive for, for, for motivation. Let it be stuff in there that you could go to that's going to get you through things. Memories that's going to be positive. You know what I mean? You think about and reflect on things that you didn't got over and you use that to catapult you, bruh. You could think about some negative things sometimes, but it has to be flipped into motivation. Sometimes that failure, sometimes that rejection, sometimes the, 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 the things that we didn't have to go through, sometimes that shit just rev us up even more. That's what Jordan used to do. Jordan would make up his own shit in his mind to get him pissed off and go out there and kill people that had nothing to do with the situation and the shit that he thought of. But guess what, bro? It worked. You know what I'm saying? It worked. It got his ass going. You know what I mean? And it got him to the ship. You got to find ways to get you to the ship. You know what I mean? You got to find ways to get to the ring. The ring, listen, bro, it's out there for you. So whatever you got to do to get it, you got to do, you got to get it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to step on nobody to get it. You just got to get over the things that you going through and, and tell yourself that, listen, I could do anything, bro. And understand that, bro. You're going to do whatever it takes, man. You 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 on the right track. Just stay there, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is and CNT. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. 
Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.